Hey guys, this is a real quick video. Gonna, I've done this before, but I'm going to do it again because new Tracker 2.9 is out. And we're going to well, install the mapping for the DDJ SX2 in Tracker. So, real quickly, this is off. You got to hold Shift and play. Turn the machine on. Okay. So if you realize, you'll be in the right mode because you'll see there's a light. That's like that. This is all set up like this, right? So what you want to do is you want to hit that button. That puts it into MIDI mode, right? Turn it off. Turn it back on again. Now, because my map is already in there, this is why it's all set up and ready to roll. So, I'm going to uh, take the camera off here for a second. So we can look around the screen. Okay, so here we are. This is Tractor. Um, I'm going to open up. You're going to go to Pioneer's website, PioneerDJ.com, you click on support, find software, firmware software updates, DDJSX2. Oh, I don't know if, know if I'm in the right spot or not. Yes. So MIDI mapping files right there. I think they've changed their stuff around a little bit. And you see there it is right there. DDJSX2 tractor Windows. Tractor Mac. So if you have Windows, you want to do the Windows version, right? And there's the update instructions. The instructions tell you basically to do what I just told you to do, more or less. Um, and there's a hardware diagram to set up everything. So you want to download this. So that is a TSI file. I don't know if you can make that out. That's my downloads. So now let's open up Tractor. What I'm going to do just to make it real easy. We're going to go into the settings. And then what you would do is you go down to where it says import. And then we're going to go look at my downloads. And there you see it right there. That's the one. You're going to open that up. You're going to click OK. And it just imports them. Now, because there is mappings that have to do with the effects, Tractor is funny like that. Every time you need to do some with effects, you need to import your mapping twice. So hit import again. And the reason it takes a little bit long like this, this map and there's a lot of stuff in it. So everything that happens in the settings and stuff take a little bit longer than they typically would, but it doesn't affect the performance at all. I go back to my download. There it is again. Hit the open and say OK. And we're going to close this up. And like I said, everything takes longer in the menu, but when you're using it, it works fine. So everything working fine.
So some of the things are a little bit different here. Let me just turn this down a little bit. All your hot cues are the exactly what they're supposed to be. Uh, your sync button works like you expected to. Your cue button works like it's supposed to. Play, pause, auto loops. Cutting it down, no, cutting it in half, times it by two, ins and outs. Um, like I said, I want to be quick about this because there's other videos describing everything. When you hit roll, you have all these different effects. Delays, gators, and on the rolls, the one thing that you have here is at the bottom auto loops. So, auto loops here, rolls. And that's it, man. So yeah, hopefully that works out for you. And um, if you have any questions, any concerns, drop a comment. And you know what? Just to let you guys know, there is another map on DJ Tech Tools that has a few more instant gratification effects. Um, you know what? And if you look through my channel, there's videos showing that one as well too. Installation's exactly the same, you're just doing that DJ Tech Tools. That's it, man. Have fun with your DDJSX2 and uh, enjoy Tractor. See you guys later.